what's up y'all welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in in today's video i am going to be doing this cute i call them baby doll styles but cute <laughs> ponytail style on journey's very very thick hair i'm going to start out by spraying her hair with warm water and then i'm going to add this talia wajid uh detangler um <clears throat> which i do like this detangler uh but aunt jackie's not having it to me works better on her hair so just putting it out there and as you can see her hair is getting so thick and it's getting longer and it's becoming more and more difficult <laughs> to detangle her hair so i'll be on the lookout for some really really good detanglers for those of you who have kids who also have this type of textured hair so i'm going to start to style out um i parted ear to ear um by the way um, I'm also using this Blue Magic Super Sure Grow. I don't think I've ever done a style without using hair grease because it just, nothing else gives the shine that I want. Uh, so I'm gonna start out. Oh, by the way, I got this brush from Walmart. It's a detangler on one side and a brush on the other. The detangler does nothing for her hair, but I really like the brush. And I was gonna try out this Curl Piece Ponytail and Edge Control y'all i have to be honest it's complete trash i literally threw it in the trash because it did nothing for her hair nothing for maya's hair and nothing for my hair i do not like this particular product from this line so uh yeah in the trash it went and i ended up using um this uh touchdown edge control to kind of get that slick look that i want uh but anyway just put a ponytail here and i'm gonna detangle it comb it out and put in two simple two strand twists add some beads and some bobbles and i'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side here I'm just adding some beads um, if, if you don't know how to put on beads I do have a whole video showing you how to do this I'll probably link it at the end of this video and also in the description box the way I've gotten a few comments about uh, rubber bands breaking 
Um, I've never had any rubber bands break on me. The only thing I could think of if your rubber bands are breaking after putting them on a day or two, uh, maybe don't wrap them as tight. Um, Cause I've never had any rubber bands break on me. I actually end up having to cut them out when I'm ready to take the style out. So um, perhaps maybe don't wrap them as tight. And I also use the super stretch brand, which it says right on the pack will not break the hair. Um, and they do not break easily. And I also use the uh, salon grade rubber bands that you can get from your local beauty supply. Um, but you can get them from anywhere, but just don't wrap them as tight. For this middle section, I'm going to part from corner to corner. So it's going to look like it's parted in an X by the time I get done. So I'm going to do a one diagonal part and then I'm going to uh, do another diagonal part to make that part two parts. <laughs> so it'll be four parts total. So for this ponytail, I'm gonna split this up and I'm gonna do two twists just like I did for those side ponytails. Uh, and I'm going to end up piggybacking these on the back ponytails. You'll see what I mean in a second. I decided kind of last minute to add some beads um, kind of like I did for um, the Maya style when I kind of made a design with the beads I decided to do the same thing here just to make the style unique and be a little more creative so I put three beads on there and then I piggybacked this ponytail through um, this back ponytail and I'm gonna twist this up into three twists one twist is already there because I just pulled it from the front ponytail so the rest of the hair, I'm going to twist into two twists and I'm only gonna put beads on two of three of the twists. So leave one of the twists without beads cause I'm, I'm going to also piggyback that one in the back ponytail.
So now I'm gonna part diagonal the other way. And what you see me doing here is kind of finger, finger detangling and finger parting at the same time, um, just to make it easier because her hair um, is so thick and it's so tangled. So if you have a child with really thick hair, it helps to kind of finger part it first and then clean it up with the comb. that I didn't put beads on before, the one that I left loose, and I'm gonna add beads, three beads to them, just like I did the front ponytail, and I'm gonna piggyback it to this back ponytail. So hopefully this made sense. To me, it, it, look, it sounds more confusing than it looks. I think you can see what I'm doing. Um, and I was trying to go for like a diamond shape, but it ended up looking like a circle, um, but it's still cute to me. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna twist up uh, this back part and I'm gonna put beads on it. That's it, this whole style is basically twists and beads. This is how the whole front section looks. Um, basically every twist has beads on it. Um, that back ponytail, I think I ended up with three or four twists. Um, so yeah. Uh, so for the back section, I'm gonna do two low ponytails. Um, so kind of mid ear to mid ear. Um, and then that middle section, I'm going to put two buns. So um, this back section is a whole lot less complicated. <laughs> very, very simple. I figured since it was so much going on in the front that I would make the back pretty simple. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, you're going to see me redo this twist. It's because I have did the first one and it was atrocious. <laughs> so that's why you see me doing that twice because I didn't wrap it tight enough and basically the twist just came right down. So just do a simple twist. Now I'm going to add some beads and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Here I'm spraying yet another detangler. This is the Shea Moisture Kids Coconut and Hibiscus Extra Moisturizing Detangling Spray. Um, and this is probably the most, um, the thickest part of her hair, her head. Um, and so yeah, I added some uh, extra detangler here and I just parted it right down the middle. And um, I mean, you can just bun it up like this if you want to just wrap the hair around itself to make a bun. I decided to go ahead and twist it up because her hair just does not do well when I leave it out. It ends up getting matted and it's lint all in there and all kind of stuff. So it's just better for me to keep her hair twisted up. That's just my preference. So here's how the back looks. I did end up putting a um, hairpin in this one. That's what you see right there. Um, because this one was sticking up. It didn't want to act right. So I put a hairpin in it. And that's really all I used to secure it. I just wrapped it around itself and put a bobble to keep it secure. And that's pretty much it for her edges. I'm gonna um, use that same touchdown edge control edge tamer. Um, you know, I'm not really an edge control girl, but I do like this one. Um, it's one of very few. I actually prefer gel, but I really um, do like the uh, Touchdown brand. And this is the whole style. I thought it was super cute and it's unique. I haven't seen many styles like this. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. <laughs> All right, say bye. Bye. Let me know if you try out this style. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe and until next time, be safe and be blessed. Peace. <laughs>